Hey Libra, this will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 4th through August the 5th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for August the 4th through August the 5th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for August the 4th through August the 5th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for August the 4th through August the 5th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Libra, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, these are your cards, honey. So, Libra, you have the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Libra, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Clear up the Seven of Wands for Libra. Clear up the Seven of Wands. For Libra, clarify the Seven of Wands. For Libra, it is clarified with the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups. For Libra, clarify the page of cups. For Libra, clarify the page of cups. For Libra. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death. For Libra, clarify death. For Libra, clarify death. For Libra, it is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit-for-tat tug of war toe-to-toe -to -toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now Libra, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this tit-for-tat tug of war toe-to-toe -to -toe going on and things ended. They may be trying to apologize and you're like, mm -mm, no, like setting some type of boundaries. You can tell me that there was some type of mind games and manipulation here. And they're trying to apologize to you, but you're like, mm, no. You can also tell me that, yes, you had the tit for tat tug of war, toe to toe mind games and manipulation. And it's you wanting to apologize, wanting to start new after ending, coming in to explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. 
You can also tell me that we found love messages and heard the news of someone here sharing love. There's been some type of mind games and manipulation, and it may cause an ending. You could be standoffish with them because they did it, or it's you wanting to explain why you did it. You were pissed off. Libra, you have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Libra, it could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance. For Libra, clarify temperance. For Libra, clarify temperance. For Libra, it is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. I feel like some type of drama has taken place here. But like I said, either you're kind of standoffish with them and wanting to heal individually on your own. You don't want to accept their apology. Or it's you wanting to come in and explain because you're hoping that you guys can heal things and it may be you wanting to apologize here. Some type of argument. Some type of drama. You have the king of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character. Someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy. Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action. Clarify the King of Wands. For Libra, clarify the King of Wands. For Libra, clarify the King of Wands. For Libra, it is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Now Libra, you could be taking action to get your wish and your wish could be to heal things with this person. However, Libra, I want to know if you're taking action... And feeling smug here because you could be getting some type of payback. You may have an axe to grind here. Feeling smug about a situation. Libra, you have the page of cups again. So like I said, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love. Or some news about what love produced. Because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Okay, nine cards here. Clarify the page of cups. For Libra, clarify the page of cups. For Libra, clarify the page of cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the two of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Libra, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Now, Libra, you could be indecisive on whether or not you want to accept their apology. You could be indecisive on whether or not you want to come in and try to apologize and try to explain something here. However, you can tell me that they are apologizing and you're blocking them. And are you blocking them because you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love with someone else? Hmm. 
You have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Libra, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, playing in something, perfecting something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So listen, Libra, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the page of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the page of pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Libra, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Now, Libra, listen, you can tell me that you wanted to work on you guys' relationship, work on you guys' commitment. It very well could be you wanting to apologize and come in and explain yourself, you know. However, Libra, you can tell me that maybe you're working and planning something to end this commitment. Maybe you're just like done, done. You're blocking all apologies here. You're pissed off. You're mad. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Libra. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, narcissist. Who is the narcissist? Is it you or them, Libra? A narcissist. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Libra. And it says, I know that I crossed the line with you. I know that I crossed the line with you. Libra, this will happen in the next 48 hours for August the 4th through August the 5th, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.